I combine images in a lot of my work, so today I'm going to show you how I do that. So we're going to take this image and make it look like this. And we're going to take these images here and combine them with my base image, which is this one, to make this one. So the first thing I'm going to do is open my base image in Photoshop. So I just right click edit in Photoshop and then we'll let it open up. Now that my base image is opened up in Photoshop, I'm going to go over to my layers panel and I'm going to duplicate this layer. I just right click duplicate. We'll leave it labeled background copy because that's what it is. I don't like to work directly on my background layer. I like to always make a copy of it. So then if I mess something up here, like I can get rid of it. So I'm going to go back in Lightroom and I'm going to grab the next image that I want to put on my base image. So this I'm going to use for just the reflection. So before I do that, I have to put my mirror in. So the mirror image that I wanted to put in is going to be this one and one more. I'm combining probably like six images, I think, to get this into where I want. So this will be the next one. So I'm going to right click again and open this one in Photoshop. All right, so I'm going to control A to select all. And then I'm going to take my little cursor over here and I'm going to drag it onto my base image. And I'm just going to fit them like perfectly for now. And then I'll move it around in the other image when I'm ready. So to get rid of everything that I don't want, because I only want to keep the mirror, I'm going to go over, hit this little dude right here, and that's going to create a layer mask for this image. So this means that I can now go grab my little paintbrush over here and I'm going to get a little bit bigger. And now I can just kind of paint away this top layer to get down to the bottom one, which is my base layer. So I'm just going to kind of use this big brush to get all the big spots first. And then you can also tell down here. So the black is where we've painted away and the white is where this layer still shows through. So I missed a couple spots over here. Go back. So I want that all a solid black. Since my backgrounds are the exact same, I don't really have to be that particular about this, but I like getting it as close to perfect as I can. So now that I've got this space, I'm going to make my brush smaller. I'm going to go in and do a little bit more of the detail work here. And now this is getting really close to me and it's not actually going to be over here. So now that I've gotten it kind of small and just the part that I want, I'm going to kind of move it around and try and figure out where exactly in my image I want the mirror itself before I finish cleaning up around those edges. Um, I think I kind of want it, I want it bigger actually. Um, I'm going to hit control T and that's going to bring up my little transform tool here and I'm going to make it big. Oh, control Z that. I don't want it shifting. There we go. I just want it bigger. Okay. So I like to do my coloring and then composite my images and then combine those and then do kind of a little pickier kind of cleaning up kind of thing. I'm going to hit enter and then I'm going to go back with my little brush. And if you go and try and do this and you find that your brush is actually painting back that first image, you can hit the X on your keyboard or you can go over here. So these are the colors that you see over here that we're painting with. And if you hit this little double square right here, it'll, it'll reset them back to black and white if you had other colors in there. And then this will switch them. So you want the black to paint away and then you want the white to paint back. 
So if you accidentally painted away a part that you want to bring back, you can just easily hit the X on your keyboard and it'll switch it right back for you. Okay, now that I've got that back in there, I'm going to go back into my Lightroom and I'm going to grab the other mirror image. Maybe? There it is. And so I'm going to paint in now this part of the mirror because that one was covered by me. So I prefer to get all of my composite shots at the same time as I get my main shots because then the light's the same. So the color grading is really easy to do and then combining them is really easy to do, especially since all of my images were taken on a tripod so my camera didn't even move. It does make it a lot easier and it's kind of the way I usually like to do it. You can, of course, combine anything at any time, um, but you have to make sure that your lighting's consistent or you're going to have to do more of like a digital art thing and kind of paint your light in. So I like to limit my editing as much as I can and try to get everything at the same time so it's easy for me to just bring them all into Photoshop and just paint away. So I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to line this one up. So if you're going to be doing lots of layers and you want to name your layers, you definitely can. Um, I usually don't and just kind of click around on them. Is that the most efficient way to do it? No, it definitely isn't. Um, so for the sake of the video, we'll name them. So that's mirror one. And then this over here is mirror two. We're going to start again by hitting this little dude, grabbing our paintbrush, and we're going to do exactly what we did before. And we're just going to paint away everything except for the mirror. So now I'm just resizing this mirror because we resized the last one, so I'm going to have to resize this one in order to get it to fit. So we did that. And now I'm going to continue cleaning up these corners. Oh, we're... And if it starts painting black like that, it means that you selected this portion of the layer and not the mask part. So I'm going to control Z that, go back, hit the layer part, this part right here, see the brackets, and then it should paint away. Yeah, like it's supposed to. Okay, so now I've got my mirror in there, how I want it. So now we are going to grab our next image from Lightroom, and that is going to be the hands on the mirror. So we'll open this one in Photoshop next. We're gonna control A to select it all, and then we're gonna drag it onto the rest of these. We'll go in and we'll name our layers again. So this is mirror two. And this one is going to be hand one. You can be as specific or as generic with these as you want, or you can just leave them as layers one, two, and three. Um, again, like I usually do. Um, so again, I'm going to pull this in here, hit this button, and we're going to paint away.
And then with this I'm going to try and fit it as well as I can onto this. Go, and then I'll take my brush again and I'll clean this up a bit. Now, looks like we got a hand out of nowhere hanging on to this little mirror. And then, as you can tell, compositing is basically just doing these few steps and doing them over and over and over again. So it's just, it's a lot of masks and it does take time depending on what images you're taking and like what you're combining them and if they were shot in the same area, the same day, the same time of day, the same lighting situation, um, and also how busy like your background is. Like this makes it pretty easy for me to combine these because the background is so busy that if I miss a little bit, it's really not that big of a deal. So I think that was the one to, are these just like, they're very similar. Okay. Well, I'm going to bring this one in and I'm probably going to flip it horizontally so I have two hands on that mirror. So if you can't tell I'm really kind of just thinking this out as I go because I didn't edit this in advance and then I'm going back and showing you guys how to do it like I'm you're editing this with me for the first time. I'm going to image I think image rotation flip canvas horizontal. Yeah there we go. Okay learn control A and then we'll take this flipped version and drag it back over here. Zoom out a little bit. All right. And then we'll rename this again. Excuse me. Hand two. And we'll make a mask on there. And do the same thing we've been doing. I think I'm going to have to rotate this a bit to get it to fit how I want. Yeah, because I don't want it right there. I want it kind of over here. So I'm going to control T and that's going to take me to this. And then I can rotate this how I want. So that's how we're looking. Like the color of the fingers. So that we're gonna fix at the end. We'll just, I want them toned down a bit. They're a little bright. So we'll fix that. But I think just the two hands is what I want. But let's add the reflection. So we'll go grab our reflection photo from Lightroom. This one. And this one I obviously zoomed in to take, so we're going to have to make it smaller to get it in there. Okay, again, control A, click control A, there we go. Drag it in here, plop, plop. All right, yeah, see, so that's way too big. So we're going to have to bring that down. I'll do that a little bit here before we even start with the that looks pretty close so we'll call that good for now and we'll name this layer reflection and then give it a mask and then get rid of just about everything else around it.
So now I'm just going to go in and I'm going to look around at all of my layers and do that. Perfect. Okay. So my layers look good to me. So if you're the kind of person that wants to come back and be able to rework on your layers, um, you're probably not going to want to save this the way I do because the way I save it, I can't come back and rework on my layers. Um, is that smart? Probably not, but it's the way I do it. File and save as that I can save this on my hard drive or my computer or wherever. Um, and you can save it as a TIFF, um, which will not save your layers, but you, if you save it as a Photoshop, um, this, you can open it back up in Photoshop and you can um, work on your layers again. So what I'm going to do, I really should probably make it easier for myself to come back and work on my layers, but I also, I don't know, this is what I do. So again, is it the smartest way? Probably not, but I do have all my base layers so I can come back and recreate this image again if I wanted to. Um, I'm not really someone that comes back and re-edits their work though, either. So um, if you are, then you probably want to do the file, the Photoshop, save Photoshop, save um, all of your layers, and then you can go in and save again and save it as like um, a TIFF so you can share it. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to come over here and right click and I'm going to hit merge visible. So what this is going to do is it's going to combine all of my layers. So now this is just my base layer. I'm going to again hit control J because I always want to be working on a layer above my background layer. So now this is all, this is one, this is one solid image as far as Photoshop is concerned. I have no more layers you can see over here. So like I was saying earlier, I don't like how bright my hands are. Now I can, if I wanted to, hit file and hit save and this would save back in Lightroom and then I could do these adjustments in Lightroom and sometimes I do that and sometimes I like to do that but I don't feel like I'm quite done in Photoshop yet. I see a couple things that are distracting that I want to fix really quick like this leaf and this leaf. Some of these leaves are just really distracting to me. Um, also this part I want to I wanna fix that. So I'm going to come over to my little healing tool and I'm going to highlight all that and then Photoshop's going to fix it for me. Um, and I'm gonna get that green out of there. There we go. So now this little, that little light is gone. I didn't like that. I thought it was distracting. I, um, am a very like clean image person. I really like my images to be as clean as I can get them visually. Um, which means sometimes that I go, oh, I go a little overboard sometimes. I can definitely tone it down. Um, but I think it comes from my phase of being a landscape photographer where they like really drill into you about, I say they, like I, <laughs> I mean the YouTube videos that I watch. Um, they were always like, you have to clean up your edges and your background and, and blah, blah, blah. And now I do it. Um, because I do like how it looks better. If you like or don't like cleaning up your image, like you don't have to by any means, it's just what I like to do. I just think it puts more of the focus back on what I want the viewer to actually focus on. So I'm just going to continue to clean this up a bit. Okay, now I've got this cleaned up. So this is before. See all that? It just looks, it looks busier to me. And like this, so much nicer. It's quieter, you know? Maybe I'm just talking crazy. I don't know. Okay, so the next thing I want to do before I call this done is chill these bright hands out really quick. So I think the best way for me to do this is going to be my little burn tool. 
Your settings for your burn tool are going to be up here. So your exposure is how much that you want to um, burn something and how little. So I usually start about 27. So if we go, let's see how like dark that makes it. Makes me look tan, which I absolutely am not. Control Z. So we're gonna go back down. Probably 10 or 11. I just want to do just a little bit. There we go, and just quiet that out a bit. Okay. Let me do again. Four. After. There we go. That looks better. And then they look... Yeah. Okay. I like that. Yay! Okay, cool. So, there we go. I think, I think I'm done. I'm actually quite happy with how it turned out. And so we just finished putting one, two... Three, four, five, six images together, and this is what we came up with. So, again, it is pretty simple if you kind of shoot how I shoot and just kind of shoot all of your images together at the same time in the same lighting on the same day in a tripod. Tripod, you can still move around and you can still get this, um, but it is much easier when you shoot things at the same time. So, now I'm going to hit my file my save. I'm actually, I was really excited when I was shooting and I was really excited when I was done shooting and then I like got home and imported the photos and I was like, hmm, I don't know if I'm going to be able to make <laughs> what I wanted to make. Um, but I think I did and I'm very, yeah, I'm very excited. Fit, fill, whoop, and there we go. So this is the image we created today. So if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. I plan on doing more Photoshop tutorials, so let me know down in the comments what else um, you would like me to show you. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.